Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Emily and I talk a lot about Salesforce. Today we're going to be going over how to add a Twitter component to your landing page. Um, this really only makes sense on either leads or contacts, so I'm going to do this on contacts. Um, and the reason why it really only makes sense is because you need to connect to typically a person Twitter account or a person's Twitter account. Um, so now I'm on the contact, I'm going to go over here to the gear icon and hit edit page. Okay, and then from here, we are going to go over to the components and then Twitter should be one of these standard components or one of the last ones. You can go ahead and drag and drop that over. I'm going to have it be underneath the activity area. I don't know, that just kind of makes sense to me. And then you will need to sign in with Twitter and then I believe connect it with this person's Twitter account. So I'm going to hit save and activate. And then you're going to need to assign this record page. Now you can do some funky stuff with the org app and app record type profile default stuff. Because this is a playground, I'm going to assign this as the org default. Of course, if you are looking to do this for your production org, please test this out. So then it's not messing anyone up. Anyways, I'm going to assign it. Desktop and phone. Hit next and save. All right. Now I'm going to click out of this. And we should be able to see... Twitter. Yep, and it is asking us to link a Twitter profile so then you can get access to their recent tweets. But anywho, that is how you add a Twitter component to your lightning page. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope that you found this helpful. If you did, be sure to give it a like, subscribe. You can check out the courses down below in the description or on salesforceupskill.com. You can connect with me on LinkedIn and Twitter at Emily Call MBA. Thank you so much, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.